channel. If you are new here, hello, my name is Katie. I live in Orlando, Florida, and I make a lot of like shop with me videos, soon to be decor with me videos, cleaning motivation, all that good stuff. If you love stuff like that, definitely make sure you hit the subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up while you are down there. But anyways, hello if you stumbled upon this video. Today, I'm super excited. I am doing a Target shop with me. I think I'm about to hit the jackpot in the Target Christmas decor because I came to this Target last night with the intention to film this video and they were putting out a bunch of stuff like all the boxes were all around the floor sorry about my hair I just got my hair done I literally just came from getting my hair done so it's just extra fluffy and kind of like doing its own thing I don't know if anybody else feels like this but I feel like after I get my hair done my hair like needs a couple days to like settle down before it starts like cooperating I don't know it's I just feel like that but maybe other people feel like that too um, I obviously love getting my hair cut but I don't know my hair is always just like weird for a few days after but anyways like I was saying this video is gonna be super exciting they were literally having all the boxes out for all the stuff for like bullseyes playground and like hopefully studio McGee there's a lot of stuff that I want and I'm hoping that I can show it all to you guys in this video today I'm honestly super anxious to get inside the store so I think I'm just gonna head inside and not blab on in this intro but let's all say a moment of silence and cross our fingers that we get super lucky because I don't want to keep doing these videos unless I really hit the jackpot so let's hope that this is the time if you're seeing this it's probably a good sign that you're gonna want to keep watching but let's go ahead and head inside to Target and see what they have I'm so excited yeah 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 I hope that I find good stuff. Uh, I'm gonna get hit by a car. Okay, just got into the store and also wanted to mention that make sure you stay tuned to the end of this video for a big, big Christmas decor haul. Okay, for the dollar spot, it is a lot of the same stuff. And I don't know if it's just like wiped out if I came too late, but there is some new stuff. So let me show you guys. So these little trees are new to me. These are really cute. I'm definitely gonna get a couple of these i like them a lot they're like a terracotta color and they are three bucks a piece they also have some houses these white ones are new to me i'm definitely picking up a set of these and they also have little tiny black ones and galvanized ones depending on what you like they have like bigger ones and then compared these ones are super super tiny so i'll definitely head back over to the dollar spot and show you more in detail of everything that they have but they were also getting ready to stock a lot of like the Hearth and Hand and Studio McGee stuff. So I wanted to race over here to see if I could get my hands on any of that stuff that I haven't seen before and show it to you guys too. Okay, so I just found this like map layout thing that I don't think I was supposed to find like on the shelf. And it just kind of shows like what the Studio McGee setup is going to look like. I really, really want those wooden trees that are on that end table right there. That's kind of what I'm in search of, but they do have a lot of other really great stuff too that I haven't seen yet that I'm gonna show you guys. So they have this really, really pretty thick wooden garland, like it's super, super nice, and it is Studio McGee, and this is, how much does this cost? I feel like it's not a good sign if it doesn't have the price like right on it. This is really, really pretty though. Definitely something that I would consider buying. I also really love this like hanging basket that has pine cones and just like the fake pine sprigs in it. So it's just like a basket that you hang on the wall. I really like this a lot. This works for like all winter and fall, not even just Christmas. And this is Studio McGee as well. This is $35. Opal House is killing it this year with all the Christmas stuff. I'm obsessed with like these mini bottle brush trees. My roommate would absolutely love these. As you guys know, I stick pretty traditional Christmas with like green and red accents. Um, but she does really colorful Christmas, which is really cute in her room, so I know that she would love those. Obsessed with these candles. I've never seen the white ones before, so I really like those. And then just more trees. And these ones are really catching my eye. This green one is sparkly. It's made out of glass. And then they have a white one as well. These are a good deal, too, for 10 bucks. They also have this candle set up with all the different colored candles. The little ones are five, the medium ones are coming in at 10, and then for 15 they have the bigger ones and then the tree-shaped ones as well. If you ask me though, the tree-shaped ones are not worth it, only because you're pretty much paying for the shape because you're getting less wax than you are in even the medium-shaped candle. Um, so if you're planning on like wanting it just for looks wise then I would get the tree shaped one but if you actually want to like use it I wouldn't over here they also have some studio McGee woven ornaments these are really cool 
Seems like they have a couple sets of these as well. Also holding true is my theory that this is the year of different textured Christmas trees because I've already shown you guys so many in all my other videos. And then there's even more here. Here they have these like shredded wood ones that have like the fake snow on them. These are an awesome price too. Like these are only 10 bucks for this really nice medium sized one. And then the big one, oh my gosh, the big one is 25. So those are really cool. These are huge too. Like look at my hand compared to it. These are really cool. And then they also have these mercury glass ones. Mercury glass is really making a comeback this year. I absolutely adore mercury glass, so that makes me super happy. But they have those as well. They also have these little Studio McGee ones as well. These ones are, I think they are $8. They're pretty cute, but honestly, you are paying like the Studio McGee premium, which I mean, I can't say I haven't paid it and won't again, but you're definitely paying like the, for the name. The hearth and hand section is pretty well stocked as well. They have some new things I haven't seen yet. I haven't seen this 99 days till Christmas, like this Christmas countdown sign. That's really, really cute. And the Christmas counter is 30 bucks. I also haven't seen these yet. These are like the tree collars. I like these a lot. I have one from Hobby Lobby last year. I'll try to go ahead and link it down below for you guys. Um, so this one is like a natural like mango wood color. And this one is $40. If you really like hearth and hand magnolia stuff, then you could get that one. Um, but I'd probably recommend getting one from Hobby Lobby because all of their stuff's always 50% off and I think I definitely paid less than $40 for than what I got from Hobby Lobby and they have a lot more color options and like different types of woods like rattan and all that stuff so I'll go ahead and link a couple down below for you guys um, but this one's really cute too this is a really cute mat too super simple it's just by hearth and hand this is $12.99 so that's a pretty good deal I like these sometimes you can end up reusing them I live in Florida so there's not gonna be like snow and stuff tracked all over it but I like this one a lot they also have oh, these really really cute threshold reindeers these are 28 each they're pretty big and they have a little like bell on them and stuff this is by all these like really really plushy looking blankets like how cute is this little guy hello Brian would absolutely love this they also have these really cute like more traditional tablescape type items they have this really cute reindeer and then one that's sitting and then I did show this in another video but I still really love that little candelabra. Just a lot of like really like traditional gold stuff. And then just tons of neutrals, a lot of Christmas greens this year in all different types of little vases. I absolutely love that. And then just a lot of like neutral pillows and things like that. Honestly, these look so nice. I just wanna add them to my couch all the time. They're seriously so soft. See what I mean? They're just still putting out so much stuff. I'm like never complaining to go to Target. Like I absolutely love it. But I just wanna find new stuff every time I come. Like I said, I was here last night. So I did see them also starting to set up like the Christmas display. So I'm heading over to like the big holiday display section to see what new stuff they've added there. And then we're actually gonna go to another Target. I'm gonna go to a Target that's in more of like a touristy location. Um, I've had a lot of luck there in the dollar spot because a lot of people on vacation like aren't coming to shop the Target dollar spot. They're coming for things that they forgot on their trip. So I'm definitely gonna go ahead and check over there, but there is a lot of new stuff over here in the Christmas display section, so I'm gonna show you what they have. So all of this stuff is by Sugar Paper, so it's just really, really cute, like wrapping style stuff, all different color themes, and then a couple little like gifty decor items. It's like a really cute like wine stopper, beer bottle opener, decorker, that, all that sort of stuff. And like I said, just really, really aesthetically cute gift boxes. They are just starting to put out like all of the wonder shop stuff. So this really, really cute little Christmas counter. So growing up, we actually had counters that were like similar to this and you could do like Hershey Kisses in it, like one for each kid and things like that. It's a really fun way to count down to the holidays and gives them something to like look forward to every single day. So I actually really, really like this one. And this little like house advent calendar where you can fill it with your own candy is 25 bucks. They're also just barely starting to put out the Christmas wreaths. So they have like this flocked one that has flocked pine cones on it, a red raspberry one, and then a super plain one so definitely three totally different styles and they're definitely going to be putting out a lot more okay i am heading out of the first target gonna go pick up brian and then go to another target where i'm hoping we will have much better luck i did pick up just a couple of things but like i said stay tuned at the end for the haul
Okay, so walking into the second Target now. Got my honey bear with me. And I'm really excited because they have a lot more stuff that I haven't seen yet. So these are the ones that I've been looking for. So I'm extremely jazzed to see this. You were right to come here. No one bought anything. I know, this is the best so Target. Much. Okay, I'm doing this fun thing I do when like there's so much stuff and I'm overwhelmed that like I start to freak out. Oh my gosh, okay. I'm so glad that we came to this one. This one, I hit the jackpot, guys. I'm so excited. So they have all the little trees. These ones are so cute. I love this one. Definitely getting that one. Please add this to the cart. So cute. This one is really, really cute too. And it's just a buck. Like I feel like I like have to get them because they're only a dollar. I'm pumped because I saw these at Target last night and I didn't buy them at my Target and then of course they did not have them at my Target this morning so I'm gonna get a couple of these. They have gnomes so they have a couple different variations. They have like a Santa one and then they have like the one with the, the gray cap that's a little bit more simple and then they have this one that has like a pretty intense mustache. They also have these little tiny tree skirt collars for like the tiny mini trees i absolutely love that these are really really cute and they're only three bucks they have a galvanized one and then the white with red one a bunch of tiny little decorative scented candles they come in different scents like winter pine north woods and then one called snowy birch then they have these little photo frame things for like three bucks that say have yourself a merry little christmas with the little clip that you can put a picture and then this one would be really really cute if you had kids because you could do like Santa and me or even with a dog like that's such a cute idea but you just clip another little picture in these are three bucks so that's a really good deal comes in three different variations and this is the last one it's really cute just says Merry Christmas in red and green writing super farmhouse love this idea I'm really in love with this so it's a one set interchangeable sign so it comes with like the top part that you can hook and then you can change out all these signs because they're gonna have two little hooks at the top and these are like all the different signs that it comes with. I absolutely love this. Another interchangeable sign that just comes with all these different things and little like numbered sets and different plaques and you can really make it your own. I absolutely love that. If you're looking for a budget friendly version of the hearth and hand one, this is really cute. So the little wreath like slides around in between the pegs and you just do a little Christmas countdown. So how many days until Christmas? My only issue with that is that I wish it started in October. <laughs> or the day after Christmas because that's how I count down to Christmas is literally starting from the day after Christmas I don't know about you guys not Brian. He's kind of like a Grinch. I don't know Also have a bunch of these cute Merry Christmas signs. These are only five bucks such a good deal Also have these like little box signs. These are really cute with the little bottle brush trees on the inside and this is three bucks. Here's a really cute double-sided sign. So on one side, it is the holiday to-do list. And on the other side, it says, wishing your family a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Such a great deal for only five bucks. More candles, and then these are so cute. Like little house garland, which I absolutely love. I love to string this on my Hobby Lobby shelf. They also have a really cute candy cane variety as well, depending on what you're going for. Oh, I just found this one and I love it. Like the braided yarn with the beads. I'm definitely gonna pick up that. To go along with the signs, they also have like matching towels and stuff. These ones I absolutely love. They kind of match the table runner that I got in my budget Christmas decor shop with me. So I definitely think I need to pick this up. So cute. Who doesn't want stuff that's like multi-purpose? You could literally like switch it based off of your mood in that day. This is also a sight to see a million little tiny two story shelves. I absolutely love that. These are also a great deal for only $5. They have the cookie for Santa, little cookie houses, two different variations, a house version and a canister version. Kind of reminds me of Ray Dunn, but definitely a little bit different. They're actually stocking more stuff as I'm standing here. So a couple new things to show you guys. This sign that's green and just says Mary. I really, really like that one. And then I think there's a different one down here. Oh yeah. This one is so cute. This one is white and says fa la 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 la. For $3 they have this, it feels like a whiteboard almost. Um, North Pole delivery, do not open until Christmas. I actually already got Brian's present so I could put this out and say do not open until Christmas. Which is really hard for me because I'm like one of those people who 
can't wait to give someone their present so I don't even know what I was thinking by buying his present so early because I want to give it to him so bad leave me a comment down below if you're like this too like if you get really excited to give someone their present so you give it to them early but I'm not gonna do that because I know that first of all he wouldn't even open it until Christmas because he's very traditional but I don't know I can't wait for him to open it wait what is it Ornament shot glasses. That is really funny. That'd be really cute for like a Christmas party. Little ornament shot glasses. That's actually so cute. It actually seems smaller than a shot though. Maybe I just like to take big shots. You do, you take massive shooters. <laughs> Similar to a lot of the other stores, they have a ton of like arts and crafts type stuff. Um, so they even sell the paint in the dollar spot, like very traditional Christmas colors, silver and gold with the red and green. And you can paint like little like snowmen. They have like frosted windows. A lot of really cute little plain signs that you could make your own. They also have little like sleighs, build your own ornament kits, like so many different things a little neutral snowman like just so many different things found a couple more garlands they have some like jingle bell ones and then galvanized snowflake ones so many different variations this year definitely something for everybody okay so she's still putting out a bunch of stuff in the dollar spot and there's also a couple other people over there who i feel like i'm trying to fend off um which i'm not even trying to buy everything i just want to get the stuff that I want. I'm not buying like any extras or anything. But until then, I'm gonna head over to the Hearth and Hand and Studio McGee section to see what they have over here. There is a few things I really, really want from these sections too. So I'm really hoping that this Target will have them. Okay, my whole day is made. I got my tree. I'm so excited. This is the one thing I wanted really, really bad from the Studio McGee line. I'm so glad that we came to this Target. Wasn't it worth it? It was so worth it to come to this Target. Like I said, this one is in a really touristy area where people stay in Airbnbs and stuff or the one closest to Disney property. So it's so good to come here for home decor. Yes! Like, this is what I'm saying. Like they literally have a bunch of these limestone knots that have been sold out online for months. You know I'm getting one of these. They all look a little bit different. So I let Brian pick his fave, which actually we ended up liking the same one. But do you see what I mean? How they all kind of look different. This one's really cool too. They're all different and they're all really cool. Yeah, that one's cool too. We like the ones that have like, yeah, like that. the swirly lines. This is the one we're gonna go with. I'm also really digging these green stockings. I wish they had a little bit of a different variation of it too because like I said, I want me and Brian to have like matching stockings but not the same. That way we know like who got what or who's is whose. But I might pick up those stockings as well. Some of that similar like gold traditional stuff next to the neutrals. But something I haven't seen yet and Brian's like such a sucker for stuff like this. He, um, he loves these little like glittery reindeer i think you just love reindeers reindeer. is that what it is if those were flat white we'd be buying them yeah the little wreaths around them are really cool but neither one of us is really into like the glitter thing love but the these are really really cute these don't have price tags so i'm not sure how much they cost but I'd, if i had to guess i'd probably say around 25 dollars these caught my eye too um brian and i collect little like postcards and write notes to each other and we are starting to need a place to put them so that they don't get lost. And these ones are really nice. So I think we might grab a couple of these. Same as the last store. I keep finding like all the plans for what everything is supposed to look like. So it's definitely oh. a good hint. I know that one's really cute. Oh. I know they have sweaters. So it's definitely hints at what everything is supposed to look like. I don't think I could really get in trouble because they're the ones that left it out. So these are really, really cute. Yeah, there's just so many yeah just what all the plans are supposed to look like if you were wondering Ooh, look at all the fuzzy blankets really cute stuff yeah some more reindeer are those the shiny oh, ones yeah those are the shiny ones are they 30 um oh yeah so maybe that means they're gonna be 30 dollars good point Brad. good point i like the standing one yeah i don't like them glittery though <laughs> we have an aversion to glitter in so our household glitter. yeah now we're just checking out the Magnolia. Pretty sure I have seen and shown you guys most of this. But I really like these stockings. I like that one a lot. 
let's just take a little perusal and see if there's anything I haven't seen before. We actually just found this hearth and hand one that says keepsakes and it's the same price and it's bigger so I think we're actually gonna get this one. So yeah, I think I've already shown you all that stuff in my last Target Shop With Me video so make sure you check that out if you haven't. Um, but with everything that they have out, I think that they might have the Wonder Shop up. They seriously have all of their Christmas stuff out here. So we're gonna go over there and check that out. I have so much stuff in my car, I can't wait to do this haul for you guys. So still pretty bare and no trees yet, but definitely the most stuff I've seen. More little mini tree stuff. Mini tree stuff is so popular. It gets more popular every year. Same advent calendar. Look for something new coming soon. That. that looks cool. Yeah, it probably lights up. Those are cool. The merry one or the tree? The merry. Yeah, it definitely lights up. And so does Joy. joy too. Yeah. Look, another reindeer. Stuffed one. Ooh, this is cute. I like this. I like how plushy it is. That's really cute. Ooh, and then more puffins. <laughs> My roommate collects these. These are so cute. Now that I know that they exist, I see them everywhere. Just gnomes, really big gnome Santa. Oh, Brian would like this. And for outdoor stuff, this is what they have. Brian likes the penguin. I actually like the reindeer. Yeah, I think that's really pretty. It is a little bit glittery, but for outside, that's okay. For sure. For inside, no. Up, yeah, so, so it just makes it, it sparkle more. Yeah, these are pretty. The reindeer is $99, but the problem is like, I feel like this stuff doesn't really last like several years. I don't, well yeah, it might not, especially in Florida. I also don't understand what's up with the, the hedgehog thing. Oh, I don't know, but do you know what that is? What? Do you know what it is? No. What animal? No. It's a narwhal. A narwhal. Like from Elf, when oh, he's yeah, like, bye buddy, right. I hope you find your dad. That's what that is. More like outdoor greens and a unicorn costume. And then down this aisle, oh, cute! Oh, I like these little pet ones. These are cute. The pet stocking holders, those are cute. These are nice too. The reindeer, they have so many cute ones this year. They're definitely getting ready for Christmas. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. It's almost time. Lots of empty aisles just waiting to be filled with cute okay, Christmas yeah. stuff. Patience definitely pays off. I'm really happy that we went to another Target. I literally just had a mini stroke because we were walking by. We were walking by and they have the um, holiday Yasso bars. My spine <gasps> is bruised. Oh my god, I need them. Okay, heading back over to the dollar spot because like I said, she was still stocking a lot of stuff while I was there and I just didn't want to crowd her. But I want to go back and double check and then we're going to check out, head home, and I'm going to do a haul for you guys and I'm so excited. Okay, I just got back from Target. If you see movement in the back, that's just the dogs. Aurora! <laughs> just being cute back there. Just got back from Target and seriously, I feel like I hit the jackpot. I'm still gonna keep checking back at Target so you can definitely look forward to more Target shop with me videos, decorate with me decor videos. But I did get a lot of the stuff that I was really, really wanting so I feel like this weird sense of relief has washed over me because I've been going to Target constantly, like we were there last night, back this morning, two Targets, that sort of thing. So definitely a sense of relief that I got all this stuff and I can't wait to show it to you guys. We only got two, I believe, non-Christmas items, so I'm gonna show those to you first. I don't wanna keep blabbing on because I know that you guys are all here for this haul and you've waited very patiently for it. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys everything I got on this trip to Target. Okay, so the first thing that I got, I showed in the video as well, but it is a hearth in hand keepsakes box. So it is just a um, wooden box and I just started putting a lot of our like notes and little cards and postcards that we've collected from the places we've been together. This is just a great place. We both were wanting something to put all of our little notes in. So we decided to pick this up. There was a really cute Studio McGee one that we liked as well, but I liked that this one said keepsakes on it. That one was just like a nice looking box, but this one I feel like is actually intended for what we want to use it for. So we picked this up and I'm really excited about it. This was 20 bucks, so I feel like this was honestly a really good deal. It was bigger and nicer than the Studio McGee one so I'm really glad that we found this. Oh wait, why did they bring up the chicken? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I missed that. We got chicken. <laughs> Somehow the chicken slipped past 
and ended up with the decor. The next thing that we got that was not Christmas was the Studio McGee Limestone Knot. This literally has been sold out online for months. I've been trying to get this. I'm so happy. It's really, really pretty. They had four different ones and they all looked really different, but we went for the most like lightish neutral colored one. Um, Brian caught me looking at this online like a week ago and he was like, what the hell is that? And then when we saw it in the store, he's like, hey, they have those things you were looking for. So super excited that we were able to pick one of these up. Just honestly makes a great decor piece um, to stick like on a coffee table or a shelf or an entryway table. So I'm really, really excited that I got my hands on this and I'm excited that I got to pick what I wanted mine to look like. Cause honestly, I didn't even realize that there was so much variation, but it makes sense with it being like limestone that they all looked a little bit different but yes picked up the limestone not for 20 bucks okay and now for the main event i'm going to start showing you all the christmas stuff i got in the dollar spot i i'm just so happy like i keep saying it but going to that specific store was such a like win and such a good idea so i'm super excited we're gonna start out with like houses and stuff because they had a lot of different houses different materials woods that sort of thing different colors so i want to show you the ones that i picked up so the first ones i picked up are these little white ones they actually light up there's two different sizes they're super cute and these were five dollars so i decided to pick these up i have a couple of these from last year um and honestly they work all year round so i love this stuff but i picked these up first and the next things I picked up are honestly the things that I was the most excited about from the dollar spot for Christmas because you can also use these all year round and I just thought they were really really cute and they're these wooden houses so for the big ones I got like the same ones that were like the same tone and then for the small ones I decided to get like the variating ones or is variating a word I don't know varying I decided to get the varying colored houses because I knew that this would help tie in a lot of like my other Christmas decor and if I decide to use these all year round because these could also work all year round um, both of these were five dollars so you can get the four small ones for five or the two big ones and then for the big ones they also have ones that come in different colors um, but I absolutely love these I'm so glad I was able to get these they were the first thing I saw at the end of the dollar spot like end cap and I I honestly had like a mini seizure when I saw that these were in the dollar spot. Sticking with the wood theme, the next thing I picked up was this interchangeable sign. I wasn't going to get this because I already have a Christmas counter, but what I liked about it was that there's other things that you can put. So they have like a black and white Mary and then a black and white Christmas and, and then a bunch of other signs that you can do as well. So I just really liked it. I like the shape of it and it just comes with a lot of different ways that you can use it more than just a Christmas counter. So that's why I decided to pick this up and it was only five bucks so I mean you can't really like say no it's a great size it's real wood it had a lot of different ways that you can make it your own so I decided to pick this up okay and then the next thing I got was just this little snowman I think that this is really cute I think that you're actually meant to paint this but I just liked how neutral it was it's just wood and he has his little metal black arms on like a little white base and I really really like this so I just couldn't say no it was only three bucks and you can really stick this anywhere um, it just goes very well with like the neutral theme that we're going for so I just couldn't leave Frosty there all alone. <gasps> I hit 5,000 subscribers. You did? Mm-hmm. I hit 5,000 subscribers. It still says 4.99. For me, it says 5,000. That's so exciting. That's <laughs> so exciting. Brian has this little tiny bottle. Of, uh, what is it? Moet? Is that how you say it? Yeah, Moet. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I can't believe I hit 5,000 subscribers. Great point for me to say that if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you hit the subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up. So, <laughs> oh, I guess until then we're popping bottles. Woo, 5,000 subscribers. <laughs> Cheers guys. Okay, now that we're done celebrating, I wanna get into all the little mini trees. I, I went a little like tree crazy this year. If you've seen some of my other videos, plus the now these ones. I don't even know where I'm gonna put all these. And also I feel like we are moving at the beginning of the year, so a lot of this stuff won't really even fully get used until next Christmas. So I'll be really excited to find all this stuff next Christmas, but oh my God, imagine the stuff in the dollar spot next Christmas. How much more stuff I'm gonna buy then? Anyways, these were $3 each. They're like terracotta colored. They go with like the natural colors. Really, really liked them. They're just like tall and skinny and they're made out of wood, so I picked these up. Even more than those ones, I love these ones. Um, they're just more of like that natural, like warm toned wood color they're a little bit shorter they're not as tall and i just love these also three dollars each they're just great to just stick everywhere just buy a million little things and stick it everywhere and i promise it will make your christmas decor game skyrocket and even tinier than those are these tiny little green trees i couldn't say no to these they were a dollar a piece they are ceramic and they're just really cute i love these a lot 
They're just the perfect shade of green and I couldn't say no, I had to get them. Oop if I don't break one. Another cute little $1 ceramic tree is this white one. Um, they, I wish that they had more of these. This was the only one that they had, so I'll be looking for another one of these. That way I just have two of each, but I just love these. You can literally stick them anywhere. Great for like a bathroom or anything like that if you're just trying to decorate all your areas. I just really like it. thought it was cute. It was the only one, so I felt like I had to get it because it was the last one. And then my two favorites, I'll definitely be looking for more of these, were these little green trees. These were $3 a piece. This is like a bigger version almost of the little green ones I just showed you. And then this one's just super different. The perfect color goes with a lot of the other Christmas decor I've gotten this year. And I just love it. I love the sage green color. I think it's super cute. Honestly, something I would consider having out year round just because I really like the color and I feel like I could find a way to work it in to my decor without it looking Christmassy. So I got these, $3 each. I would highly recommend these. They're ceramic as well. If you see these, definitely pick them up. These were the only two of these and they were honestly like the rogue one. <laughs> Get it, Star Wars. But they were just the only ones that I saw and they were like stuck in random places. So definitely pick these up if you see them. It's the final countdown. <laughs> only a few more items. I did pick up these towels. Um, I think I said it in the video, but these match perfectly with the table runner that I got from Big Lots in my budget Christmas decor shop with me. If you haven't checked that out, definitely make sure you check it out, link down below. But I decided to pick these up. Honestly, I just love Christmas hand towels. I know I definitely have a lot already, but you know, you can never have too many. So decided to pick these up. Honestly, this one you can use year round. So I just like it a lot. Both of these you can honestly use year round if you just have this one turned around. Um, but yeah, I love these and I picked them up and they were $5. Ooh, I think that's gone up in price. I think last year this kind of stuff was $3. And I think also too, they'll end up having table runners that match with this and napkins and placemats and stuff. Um, but all they had out was the dish towels. But they did have a lot of this St. Nick's tree farm stuff. Um, so that's definitely like a big like theme in the dollar spot this year. Um, but yeah, so I picked these up. Then I picked up this little like pine wreath that has um, this little like ribbon on it. I like to take my Ray Dunn birdhouses or one of the Ray Dunn canisters or whatever and put it right on top of this so it kind of just like jazzes it up. Um, I only have one Ray Dunn birdhouse and it's not Christmassy so I like to put like a Christmas ribbon. I like to change the ribbon seasonally um, and then add like a little wreath like this. I have like one that's more springy and stuff so I wanted to add a Christmas one to my collection. That's just, I like to take my regular stuff and make it Christmassy, so that's one way that I do that. So I grabbed this and it was three bucks. Okay, two more items, one from the dollar spot, one not. I grabbed the garland, like the beaded yarn garland. I like this a lot. I might go and get another one because it is 60 inches. Or actually, that's pretty long, right? Am I, how tall am I? I'm 5'4", how many inches is that? 64 inches? Oh, okay, so it's like almost the same height as me. It's five feet, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, so I picked this up. It was the most neutral one and I liked it a lot. I also wanted to get the little house one. So I'll have to go back and get more stuff, but I know that there's gonna be even more stuff than the stuff that I found, even though I know I hit the jackpot. I feel like there's even more stuff that I didn't get to see and eventually I will, but I decided to pick this up in the meantime and this was $3. And then the very last item, like I said, I went Christmas tree crazy. I literally gasped when I saw these on the shelf because this was like the number one Christmas item that I was looking for this year are the Studio McGee wooden trees. I absolutely love these. Um, they all looked totally different, so I let Brian pick his favorite, which luckily ended up being the one I liked, but I would have been super happy with any of them because they are just so pretty. Um, I don't think that there's a smaller size, but I'm hoping that maybe there will end up being a smaller size, so then they like go together, but I just love this so much. I think it's so pretty and this was 15 bucks and I think it was totally worth it. I think this is gonna be a super hot item so if you see them, I would definitely consider getting one. Um, and then there are Target Facebook pages where you can like trade stuff, sell stuff, things like that. I don't do stuff like that but I do know that they're out there. I like to use those Facebook pages so I can know what to look for um, like when I go to the stores because some people go even more often than me and every single store puts out their stuff at a different time. But I definitely had to pick this up. I love it so much. I'll probably end up picking up another one in a few weeks um, when my store finally stocks everything. But I'm really excited about this and I'm so glad that I got it. 
Alrighty guys, well that is gonna be it for me today. Thank you for being here when I got my 5,000 subscribers. I'm glad we could share that moment together. But if you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe so we can also spend like 10,000 subscribers together, 100,000 subscribers together. I hope that you guys love shopping with me today and going on this little trip and seeing everything that I picked up. I love doing these videos for you guys. There's so many more to come. My next video is actually a home goods Christmas decor shop with me. So definitely make sure that you check that out. I'll have a bunch of my other videos linked down below and I'll try to link some of the stuff that I got down below as well. A lot of it wasn't showing up yet on Target Circle because it's so new and it wasn't even supposed to be put out on the shelves until the first, but I'll definitely try to link some of this stuff down below for you, like the keepsake box and maybe the Studio McGee tree if I can find it. But thank you so much. Like I said before, give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and I will see you next time. Bye guys.